Anyway. What's Glad up? Good to see you, my man. Good to see you. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pumped. Got my jam jam. Look at this yeah. guy. Is that all you're wearing out That's there? That's all I got. That's all I need. What's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Great to see you. How you doing, Davey? Good to see you, my man. Good to see you. How, How you, you doing? Been? Good. How you been? You're awesome. Just sold the boat to your buddy. To wait, yeah, I know. He's on his way here right now. Actually. Oh, is he? Yeah. Thanks. Look at this guy. What's that, Brandon? Good to see you. Good to see you. You ready? Good to have you. Yeah. Good. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I think we're heading up a little further, boys, too, Joe, from where we talked about earlier. I think we're going up a little further now. We already changed plans. So. Okay. With ice. There ain't oh, really? much snow on ice, so we're going to yeah. go try to find a little bit of snow for Lou. But, yeah. yeah. Good luck anyway, fellas. Yeah, yeah good luck. Get them. What's up, guys? Joe Holland here. I am all fired up for this trip. I am in my favorite town that is not my hometown. I am in Millinocket, Maine. The one and only. Absolute great place. The, the reason I love this town primarily is because of the people in it. To even be more specific than that, it's because the Osborne family. I went to school with Steve Osborne. And he introduced me to this area, and this is like the gateway to the North Main Woods for me, and to the Baxter Park region and Mount Katahdin. I got to meet the rest of his family. There's about 10,000 Osbournes in this town, and every single one of them is just an absolutely amazing, great person. Not only that, they're great hunters, they're great fishermen. His dad, George, taught me how to trap, and that meant a lot to me, and, and I had some of the best years of my life so far were on the trap line because of George and the time I got to spend with George up here in the North Main Woods. So Stevie's got four uncles, instead of Uncle George and Uncle Mac and Uncle Kevin and Uncle Chuck, we just started calling them Chunkle for Uncle Chuck, Junkle for Uncle George, Munkle for Uncle Mac, and Kunkle for Uncle Kevin. Today, I get to fish with one of the uncles that I've got to spend more time with in the last few years hunting, and just another, like I said, it's one of my favorite people in the world, is Munkle, and his son, Jeff. Jeff has a YouTube channel called Calm Before the Storm, and it's one of the best YouTube channels out there. He hasn't put up a ton of ice fishing content this year. He hasn't been able to get, get out as much. He's got a lot going on, but his hunting in Maine is as real as it gets. It shows you he's got some North Maine woods hunting. He's got some tracking on there, and then he's got some setting up trail cameras and bow hunting and, and early season expanded archery. He just, man, I'm telling you, if you want to talk about Maine deer hunting, real hunt, you know, he might shoot a spike for him in some of these videos or no. You know, it's not about shooting the giants that are coming to a feed or okay. anything like that. This is the real deal. So check out Jeff's channel. Obviously, I'm sure you already have already. Because Jeff's channel is going to be big if it's not. He's, he right is now. what he is now. That's We're sure. losing ice pretty hard down south. And these boys said the magic word to me. They said cask. Cask, they call them burbot in other states. Mariah, eel pout. Bunch of different words for the same fish but I love eating cusk. It's my favorite fish to eat. And if by looks on the outside, you wouldn't even go near the thing. They're the ugliest fish alive. But for eating, nothing is better than cusk. And I've had a lot of different fish. So they said there's a chance to catch some cusk up here. We also have an opportunity during the day to hook into some togue and salmon as well. So we're gonna try for togue and salmon, I think in the day. And then as it gets dark or low light conditions, we're gonna move out and fish some dead bait on bottom for cusk. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Come along. I think this is going to be a fun little series. I'm just going to have to uh, leave it up for that we can back our sleds off. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs>
there. Do you need to use my helmet to get that across? Yeah. Okay. It's actually a landmass. Oh, really? And I don't see anybody over there, but I can't see because of that landmass right there. Yeah. But it works pretty open. Let's open as far as no people. Let's open as water open no. or people open? Mm -hmm. All right. But yeah, there's people that fish right on the edge. Oh, really? The, oh, it's crazy. Jesus. There's too much current there anyway. Yeah, if you fall through, you're over here in five yeah. minutes. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So, Save gas. Yeah. Is that, you done with this? Yeah. Just go to that shoreline and over? Yeah. Uh, this is what breaks up first okay. in the spring. Right so around, around this point, have an uncut? Took the boat in here a few years ago and went to a spot they call Salmon Alley. It was probably almost 80 foot of water. Yeah. There were so many fish that it was reading at 25. <laughs> <laughs> and we were dragging smelts through it, didn't catch one. Oh yeah, there's too many bait, right? Yeah. 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 Alright, All right, we'll follow you. So don't go out there, is what you're saying? Don't go out there, that's a uh, here go fast. <laughs> if you get too close over this way, you, you just want to drill your way out. Okay. So what's the plan, fellas? What are we what are we setting for? Right now, salmon. Nice. There are toad here. Okay. So I've never caught them. Okay. I'm putting two up, two down. Okay. So setting pretty high for the salmon or? Yep. Start with the ice. Nice. Uh, we can, you know, we can check underneath, see what's underneath us too. Yeah. And uh, if we find some cuffs on the bottom, we can get them as well. Plenty of ice. Just out of curiosity on the depth. So I got about 12 foot there. That was strictly out of curiosity. I'm going to set right below the ice no matter what. That might be a little big for salmon, but they're going to see it for sure. I'm going to make it pretty inviting for them. Might be a little big. Usually you want a little bit smaller and smelt, but I couldn't get any smelt, so we're going to run shiners today, and I got a bunch of different sizes. Oh, nice. 
Nice, I'm gonna change over flags. Trying a new flag out today, guys. This one, I'll show you that one. That is the state of Maine, current state of Maine flag right there, deer ago. All right, we're good. Two steps, three to go. Oh, I like the sound of that. Is she making butter? No good? No, I had him for, oh, oh, it's back on. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Another one. Oh, nice. Jeez. Look how pretty that thing is. There he goes. What do you think? Yes. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's a fish. There you go. Hey. Skinny one. Skinny. It is. Jeez. Racer. Things a racer. Who brought this guy? Still the good line. That's how he drilled his hole first. Yeah. He is 15, 15 inches. Yeah. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. <laughs> don't come over here. Yeah. It's very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Go that way. There's only 15 inches of ice. Yeah. Do not Barely come over here. Barely will hold you. You gotta go way over there. <laughs> <laughs> Fill in one balloon, they'll bring that over and there's another one that stretches out that they already got set up and that's, they start filling that one so it's like a constant thing just... Was it ropes or chains or...? Boom logs and chains. Okay. Yep. And you'll see the, the boom chains up here right on the deck. And they, so they would back up the, the logs, how far up would they back them up? Oh no, it was all flowing <laughs> down through here. Yep. And those logs would just float right into these booms. Okay. And they call them balloons. Yep. And and like I said, they'd, they'd tie them off and a ship would come in and haul them across the lake and uh, send them down different waterways and stuff huh. like that. That is so neat. In the winter time, on all the streams and rivers, they would just pile up logs. And as soon as the spring runoff started, the water was high and everything, they'd just let them all go down. Hmm. Yeah. But it was. There's probably some beautiful cool. logs laying at the bottom of this lake. Oh, God. We started coming up here. This closed in 71. It was the last log drive. Oh, okay. 71. Yeah. Okay. So, so, what did they use the boom house for? Like, 
to for, for ho it housing uh, uh, housing the crew that worked on the river. Okay. Yeah. And th these are all bedrooms up, up above. Yeah, it's nothing but an open room with just yeah. beds. The kitchen's right here. That door on the left is the kitchen. Got a they, chef's chair. Yeah, they got a dining area over here and a relaxing area over here. Uh, I'd read I'd read one of these. I don't know if it's this particular one. They brought it over in three pieces, like 13 miles, Great Northern did. Oh, really? I wonder if it is this one. I don't one. know. It looks like three pieces, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, 1835. Oh, seven. Yeah. yeah I wonder if this is the one. Oh, seven. Mm -hmm. It is three pieces. Mm -hmm. This must be the one I'd read about. They, they do have a thing with Chuck Harris on YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. A couple different pieces. What are, what are these? Those are plugs. Oh, for the, the, the boom okay. thing. Oh, wow. Like cogs? Like, yep. Huh. Yeah. I must have something to say. Mm -hmm. What are these anchors? I don't know. That must be an anchor. Jeez. You know. Pick it up. Please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but these are the boom chains that they they would uh, on one set of booms to hook another one. They would send. This is like a regular point one, but they'd, they'd send this down through one hole and and go to that loop right there and then bring it up through and hook it through the loop and then turn this and that would hold it on there so that, that would go around a boom log or one of those through the boom. They, they have these uh augers oh okay. they used to drill through each end of the the boom i don't even think they the have side. a boom out here anywhere but huh. yeah i think in the summer these these hook the booms together so they could build that big balloon they called it wicked how far out do you think it'd, it'd go oh it was I don't know if you can see a picture for one of these windows or not. But was it like tugboats that would take them yeah. or just tugs? Big ships. You know the Katahdin on Moosehead? Yeah. That used to be one of the the ships they used to haul. On here? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. That's well, awesome. It might have been on Moosehead. Yeah. But it was ships like that. I can't see any boom pictures across there. But this is the kitchen. There's an otter. Jeff, did you do that now? I did do that, yeah. You did a good job <laughs> on that. You. Not bad. <laughs> you're, get, you're definitely getting better. Yeah, it was my yeah. hundredth daughter too, so I'm yeah. getting it. <laughs> it's supposed to be a fox, but yeah. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. Camp dogs and old hunting book on the wall. We're into the second color, bud. Is it going still? No, but there was a bunch of bubbles. It's probably drowned. Yeah. Find out. Oh, jeez. Must be, must be hung up on something. Yeah. Yeah. It's moving. It feels huge because I think it's under. Yeah, it's definitely under a rock or something. Oh, uh, it's dragging it. Yeah. Oh, it just popped out of that rock. So it got a little smaller. Yeah. Now it's not one more rock. Oh, yeah. Got, oh, now we're on a good rock. <laughs> oh, no. How, it was pretty shallow here? Oh, uh, there was, yeah, uh, I think, 10 right here. He feels pretty good. He's fighting like a cask. <laughs> Is it? Oh, wow. This was a salmon nice. set. He's probably tired. All right, we're into the second color. Still feels all right. Good. It's not fighting, but... Either I'm pulling in the log that it was hung up on. <laughs> <laughs> You've done that before. Yeah. <laughs> well no. done that. Certainly. Yeah. <laughs> like Ricky. Like Ricky, yeah. Ricky. Oh, did it just pop off? Oh, no, it's still there. Well, no, now he's off. Now he's on. Now he's off. <laughs> oh, my God. He's head shaking. All right, That's now right. we're free of the rocks, at least. Look at the line. Holy God. Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's on the ice. Want to get a scoop? Yeah, yeah, I got a scoop right handy there. He burned it in. Thanks, bud. Yeah. There's enough ice. I don't know if I can reach it otherwise. All right, fourth color. We're doing our fourth color. <laughs> All right, we got a leader. Jeez. Well, geez. Boy, well, sounds pretty good, Joe. It's definitely not a little 12-incher. Must be a toga. Huh? Could be. 
bass? Could be a bass. We don't even know. Man, that sounds like it's got some weight. Can't even wait. Jeez. Look at the mountain behind you too. I got, oh, that's awful. I got low Terrible. town test. Oh, do you? Oh, there he is. Is he hooked sideways? It's long. Wow, it's a salmon. No kidding. It's long. Oh, nice one, huh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not fat, but man, is it long. Yeah. Look like a salmon. Wow, that's big. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, wow, nice. that is big. Do you see him? I did not, no. That's huge. Just be careful of that, okay, Brandis? What pound test do you get on that? Only 10. Oh, that's good. That's and not he, bad, though. He's had it on the ice a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah through long as he's rocks. not 11 pounder year old. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's 11. <laughs> Look at the size oh, of Oh, that's a nice salmon. Holy cow. That's you see him? Cocker. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does not want to get oh, started. See that thing. Don't lose him. I'm trying not to. He drugged you through everything. Oh, Look nice oh, salmon, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> <Joe. laughs> that's the biggest salmon I think I've ever caught. Nice. Yeah. A PB. You know what your PB is? No. It's probably this. Call it that, huh? Why is his back all scratched up? I see that? Chasing yeah. smelts. Maybe. Is it? I don't know. It's a male. The thing's pointed. Yeah. I see him, Joey. Look at that one, huh, fellas? That's the biggest landlock I've ever caught, for sure. Well, we can fillet him up. Yeah. We're going to have to take that one home with us or eat him out here. Send Something. him home from a shell. Yeah. Nice looking fish. Nice fish. What a yeah. fight. That did fight, didn't you? Yeah, oh, it was peeling God. right out of my hand. I couldn't, I couldn't stop him, and I pulled him through a couple rocks. Look at the hook on that I jaw. Yeah, he's, Look at that. Awesome. Look at this hook. Oh man. When he opens it, <laughs> maybe you should mount him. <laughs> Look at that hook, that though. Awesome. <laughs> See that, Jeff? He's right into it slower. He's yeah. a native too. Is it? Yeah. No. That's a sweet. That's a good salmon, Jeff. Wow. That's definitely the biggest I've ever caught. Yeah. That's awesome. Nice. Had a boy. All right. That's awesome. That's a freaking good thing. Nice job. Thank you. Thanks for bringing me. That's awesome. Oh, that's a PB 22. Yeah, that's my PB sandwich for sure. Freaking thing right behind that side. Oh. Yeah, it got me too. <laughs> Jesus, I just looked again at it and I'm like, well, that one's up. What'd you find out on the brookies? Oh, I think it was Is it really? Nice. Good call. Yeah. Four pounder? Yeah, four pounder. Nice. Yeah, so these is Straight what, that was the first thing I noticed was all these scratches. They look like Weird. old. War wounds. Yeah, they do. I mean, it's, it's kind of textured, isn't it? All the way down. Uh, stretch marks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he used to be really fat. Yeah. Growing pains. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the what teeth, huh? Awesome. They got pretty good teeth. Yeah. So where are you saying smelt murderers. to find out the difference between the brown and the, it's right it's here? The tongue, the right? Tongue? Yeah, tongue, they said yeah. they're vomiting teeth and it's like two rows or one and down the middle. One row or something and yeah. how they're, if they're opposite. Yeah. That's what the book says. I don't really know. But that's and no brown. Look at his fin back. That's huge. It is huge. This one? Yeah. Two of your four pounds right there. Yeah. <laughs> Usually smaller though. It that. probably is four pounds. Who wants it? Who wants it? Jeff, you want it? I can't catch it. I just caught one. You can catch two. Those guys just caught a little guy. I thought it was my guy. Take it. Take it. Brandon. No, no, no. You're into the second color. Somebody's got to take oh, that. You. Oh, you. I just call one, guys. No, go, go for it. I don't like touching go. fish. They're gross. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get rolling here. It's all right. I got one more color. <laughs> this was that big shiner. Was this is. A, I sent that same yep. one back down. Did you? It was a like that. It stopped. It doesn't feel as big as the last one. Feels pretty small. 
if it's even there. Feels like there's one there. You got a mile and a half. There's some wiggles. All right, he's 12 inches. I don't think he's 13. He isn't growing. Usually they grow when they get near the hole. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Let's see. What is it? Yeah, it's a little salmon. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. You got my shiner. They're a lot darker over here than they are on the uh, mark side. We got to save that for cusp week. <laughs> little racer. Yeah. Do you guys want this one? Uh, I don't know. It's another golden. I could play it, I guess. All right. I'll give him the old Chuck Norris chop and we'll call it good. Oh, look at that. You guys want to smell? <laughs> Oh, Let's try that again. <laughs> nope, didn't work. Bomb the way. Oh, showing off. The old Osborne cannon. Yeah, we used to play wiffle ball or football depending on the wind. In oh, March. Yeah. <laughs> In March. Yeah. That keeps our hand. You got hands like a fuck. Oh! I tried the Odell. That would have been awesome. Nice throw. Could have been a hero. Oh, that's a that's a wounded duck. Yeah. Somebody shoot that thing. Somebody shoot that wounded duck. There it is. Oh, Kurt. Nice catch. Stop. <laughs> Guys, that is not going to do it for day one, like usual. We're going to stay out here and do some cusk fishing. I don't know how long the guys can stay. How long do you think you guys can stay? We can stay all night if we want, but we'll probably Or stay until their wives call. Until the wives call. Yeah. We'll stay till eight-ish probably anyway, I would imagine. Nice. Yeah. Fish a couple hours in the dark. If it's slow and terrible, we'll, uh, we probably won't stick around. So we're going to cusk fish. This is like... This is what we came here for, is to try yeah. to catch some of these cusps. It's the best eating fish in the country for all of them. Yeah. Much I'm concerned. I've eaten walleye and crappie and everything else, but it's hard to beat cusps. Yeah. Yeah, just a super good white meat. You got to clean them a little bit different than you do a regular fish, but it's not that difficult, honestly, once you do it once, you know, you know how, so. Get in there with a knife and get the meat out. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It's almost like flaying a backstrap off a deer, initially. Yeah. Yeah. It's long too. You could you can get almost to the tail. Yeah. The tip of the tail. Yeah. But we'll see. It's been slow. Typically you'd probably have one by now if they were up in here, but you never know. Sometimes you guys catch them in the day too. Right? Yeah, we'll catch them in the daytime. Yeah. Too. Yeah. So it's not just a night fish, but the the bite at night gets a lot better. Typically a lot of lakes you can only catch them at night. They only get active and feed at night. So, so we're pretty excited. We're we're set on bottom. I still have one trap up a little high. Maybe I'll go pull that or or just drop it down, it's kind of over shallow water. Jeff's out here jigging, he's gonna try to jig up a cusk, which would be just a dream come true, honestly. Yeah, I've never done it. I haven't either. 
but I know you guys have heard me talk about Jeff in the past and his channel. I showed you pictures of the moose and showed you guys shots of the moose I was eating. This is actually the guy that got that moose. And not only did he get one, he's got two giant bulls with a bow and arrow, which is pretty impressive. And super great hunts. Both of them are on YouTube. So if you're, if you're interested in any deer hunting or moose hunting, and ice fishing too, and just general outdoor stuff. Check out Jeff's channel. I'll throw a link to it in the description. Um, calm before the storm. It's on this hat somewhere. I'm guessing over here, somewhere over here. But definitely an awesome channel. Jeff's a great guy. Check out his stuff, please. Thank you. <laughs> That'd be great, thanks. <laughs> I don't do as much fishing as Joe. I'm definitely a hunting based, more of a hunting based channel, but. I, I do a fair share of fishing, but we're going to be doing land management and all kinds of different stuff. On what should the viewers property. expect to see on your channel coming up? Just, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of cutting to put in food plots and not just food plots, but try to take a piece of property that, or I, at least I've always been told that you can't manage a deer herd in the state of Maine. And one of my goals is to prove people wrong, not in the way of like shooting 180, 180 inch deer, but if I can shoot a three year old every year out of the state of Maine, I'd be happy. Food plus is gonna be huge, but also just land management in general, making sure they have food, a place to sleep, just overall habitat development um, on, a, on a pretty good sized chunk of land. But yeah, me and my wife will be out there with dad and Joe and these guys and who knows who else and just uh, trying to get her done and then come bow season we'll be just slapping them there he is that one got one got one folks we got a we got a cask little guy little burbot first one of the night we're on the board baby i'll take anything nice man got two bites are you eating them i think so what do you think it's not a whole lot of meat on it, but it's up to you. It's your fish, you can do whatever you want. I'll probably eat them. Do you have a light on it? <laughs> Good save. It's a, little guy. it's a little guy, but it'll eat. We got one. Josephus. On the board. On the board with a little guy. Just got one. I don't think it's very big, but I got one. <laughs> Little fella. He shot the four wheel or the sled up. He didn't. Uh, he didn't even tip, trip the trip the flag. He is not big at all. Didn't trip the flag. I just saw my line off in a weird direction. Just like that. A lot of people think they're ugly, but man, I think they're, besides being slimy, I think they're super, super pretty. Oh, really? Yep. Oh! What do you got, Jeffrey? Another little fella. It's, a, it's after 9.30. Geez, that's a pretty one, huh? Yeah. Want him? Yeah. Look at the colors on that guy. 